Welcome to our presentation about image reconstruction for eye and imaging with the Tigre software framework. My name is Stephanie Kaiser, and I am PhD student at the Institute of High Energy Physics of the Austrian Academy of Sciences. I would like to start with a short introduction to eye and imaging, which aims at improving treatment planning for eye and therapy. Currently, a treatment plan is based on conventional CT, which provides Hounsfield units that are based on the linear attenuation coefficient of a material. Iron beam therapy is based on the stopping power of a material, which describes the energy loss of an ion per unit path length. The stopping power itself is usually expressed relative to water, referred to as relative stopping power. While conversion from Hounsfield units to relative stopping power leads to range uncertainties in the treatment plan, ion CT allows to directly measure the requested quantity. A typical ion CT setup consists of two trackers and a calorimeter, which are rotated around the object to be imaged to take projections at different rotation angles. The trackers, one prior and one behind the object, are hereby used to measure position and direction of each ion. The calorimeter is used to measure the ion's residual energy. The position and direction measurements are used to make an estimate on the ion's path through the object, which is affected by multiple Coulomb scattering. The energy measurement defines the projection value of the ion which returns the relative stopping power in the image reconstruction, where the projection value is back projected along the ion path estimate. Our imaging data is partly obtained from an ion CT demonstrator at MedAustron. For large phantoms, we use data generated with Monte Carlo simulations. For image reconstruction, we use the Tigre toolbox, which is an open source CUDA accelerated cone beam CT reconstruction framework which includes iterative and direct algorithms for CT image reconstruction. To use the framework without adaption for ion CT, we used a straight line approximation for the ion path. Furthermore, we used position cuts to remove strongly scattered ions from our data. For these cuts, we compared hit positions of the ions on the detector prior and right behind the object to be imaged. If the difference between these two hit positions exceeded a certain threshold, the ion was rejected from the data set. This slide shows reconstruction results of data measured with our ion CT demonstrator at MedAustron. You can see the full setup in the photo on the right. As a phantom, we chose an aluminum cube with a side length of one centimeter to which a stair profile was added. It is displayed in the bottom left of the slide. We measured 80 non-equidistant projections over 360 degrees with 100 MeV protons. A 3D map of the phantom was reconstructed using OS SART. In the reconstruction, which is displayed in the bottom middle of the slide, the stair profile is clearly visible. Furthermore, we analyzed the relative stopping power within the single stairs. Even for this small phantom, a positive effect of the position cuts on the stopping power accuracy could be observed, since average stopping power values within the stair could be shifted further towards their reference value. For larger phantoms, we simulated an INCT setup in Jean 4 where we investigated Kapfen modules to define the relative error of the reconstructed stopping power and the line per contrast of the reconstruction approach. We observed that position cuts can be used to enhance both measures of image quality for protons and helium ions. For example, a contrast of over three line pairs per centimeter was achieved with protons using OSART and ASD-POX algorithm. To investigate biological materials, we imported a CT image of the Sears head as a phantom to another Monte Carlo simulation. On the right side, you can see the reconstruction of 90 projections using 200 MeV protons with and without position cuts. The advantage of the position cuts can be visually observed regarding, for example, the transitions between bone and tissue in both reconstructions. To conclude, we can say that the TQL framework was successfully used for ion CT image reconstruction. Due to its CUDA acceleration, image reconstruction is possible within seconds to minutes, depending on the phantom size and reconstruction algorithm. The data cuts we used were able to improve the reconstruction results. However, the data rejection rate strongly increases with phantom thickness. In order to further improve INCT image reconstruction with Tigre, our goal is to implement a sophisticated path estimate to the framework. Thank you for your attention.